So yesterday I went shopping because I was tired of my foundation being the wrong color and I just wanted to leave the neighborhood. So I went over to Belk and I had some things and I had some back to Mac I wanted to do and I wanted to pick out some things that I had given away not because I didn't like it I gave it away because people asked me for them and one of which was the feline eye pencil which they did not have they were out of that I wanted some lip pen, another lip pencil for my kit, and I wanted the color Whirl. They didn't have that. I wanted another under eye concealer, and they had a mineralized one, and I picked out the color and everything, and they were out of, I think they were out of that. Anyway, they were out of everything, but I was able to pick out two lipsticks for my back to Mac and I got Mare Brave. Wow, they are super similar, aren't they? Okay. So those are the two back to Mac items I got. I also wanted to try the Extended Play Giga Black Lash because I have heard so many people on YouTube talking about it, um, especially Brianna Stanko. I don't know why I believe her. I just do. I mean, everybody lies, but <laughs> maybe she's not lying. Anyway, so I picked up some of that. So that was what I got at Mac Counter. I still wasn't able to get a foundation. I think I picked out a foundation at Mac too, and they were out of it. So, I went over to Blue Mercury, and Diane, Diana, who was over there, helped me out. She's at the Blue Mercury in Town Center. And I wanted to try the Chantecaille Foundation, and because one of my brides had it, Abigail, and was she is who she married and it was beautiful on her skin so I had Diana guess what color I would should get and this is it and I got it in the color hazel so if you stick with this video you'll get to see the application of this foundation also I asked her about the concealer because I've heard a lot of talk about the concealer and I've heard a lot of talk about the brush so I got the concealer and the brush and the brush is called the Vanish Seamless Finish Concealer Brush so I got one of those and it feels like a kitty paw and I got the color Silk in the concealer. I also got the Veil Powder because I have a powder fetish and she let me, let me feel it and it was really silky and so I bought it. <clears throat> I got the smaller size though because I have at least 10 really nice powders. Also, I got a gift with a purchase, and it had the Moroccan Oil Perfect Defense for when you curl your hair. It's protect heat protectant. It had the Gold Lust Dry Shampoo from Orbe, and it had the Chlorine Cream Du Jour. It's a leave-in cream with mango butter for dry hair. And last night, or the night before, I used the, my Olaplex. I rubbed it through my hair, slept in it, and then shampooed my hair the next day. As of yet, I don't have an opinion. Um, I don't have any negative thoughts. 
So if you want to see how I did this look, go ahead and fix yourself a cup of coffee or a glass of wine, and I'll meet you right back here. Ta -ta. So let's create a look with these new products. I'm going to begin with the... Whoa. I'm going to begin with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer in number four. And I am going to do my eye look today before I do my foundation, seeing as I had a boo-boo a last time. They're serious about this stuff not leaking in transit. Some underneath. There we go. And I guess that's why it's hard to open because it's on the applicator and then you put the lid over it and squeeze it all over the place. All right, I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush to buff out this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. The reason I'm using this as my eyeshadow primer is it has never failed me in the past. The Weather Channel says we have a hurricane headed in this direction. Wow, there's this circular swirl of cloud out there. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I should believe it since they lied to us about everything else, right? They shouldn't tell so many lies because when something real happens, we won't believe them. You know what I mean? The wolf story and all. Now, today I'm going to use the Viseart palette. It is the Petite Pro Chouchou. And I'm going to try to do a different look than what I normally do. <laughs> Bravo, Jenny! Uh, it's going to look just like everything else. But this is the palette I wanted to use. Um, let's do a challenge. Let's see if we can use every color. That'll be fun. Okay, so I'm going to start up here with this one. Do they have names? That one's called Sandcastle. I'm going to put that here. That one's a little powdery. See, watch. Then I'm going to take the next one, which is called Creamsicle. I haven't been on the walk yet this morning. Yesterday, I didn't walk. I was indulging myself in some privileged activities. I will post a picture of that right here. But yeah, yesterday I didn't walk at all. Right in in that picture you saw what I did for my, for my, getting my body moving on that particular day. And I walked, I walked from the parking lot into the store. Okay, the next one I'm gonna use is Sangria. I don't know where I'm gonna put that. I think I'll skip that one. I'll decide where to put that one in a minute. I'll go ahead with it now. We'll put that one in the front right here. Yeah, this is going to be the challenge. Use all the eyeshadows in the palette. Of course, it's not that big a deal because it's not that big a palette. All right, that's Sangria. This one is Popsicle. The other one was Creamsicle. It's not to be confused with Popsicle. Let's see. What shall we do with that one? Okay, I'm going to take... that and put it here. Then I'm going to take Icy. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow brush. It's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to take Icy. Put it along my lash line. That's pretty. Then I'm going to take Melon. Put it here. Then 
then I'm going to take cotton candy. I need a new brush. Then I'm going to take sorbet and put it up here. I'm going to take the fluffy end of my brush and dip it back into melon. And go along the brow bone. And bring it underneath. It must be hot outside this morning because my room is hot. What time is it? It's 5 till 7 a.m. I lost the melon in all of the silliness here. So I'm going to wet my brush. That's the lavender fix plus. And that's melon. All right. Let's do a liner. I'm going to use the Tom Ford Cole Intense today to do a little baby wing. So, like I said before, or if I forgot to say, I was going to pick up a feline pencil at the mat counter, but they were out of them. She suggested that I go home and place an order. They really don't want us out of our houses, do they? I think I'm going to sharpen this a little bit so I can touch up the shape on the outside here. Okay, now for the other side. All right, I need a flat concealer brush. This is by Jacqueline Hill. It is a 41. As you can see, I'm finding this new brush set that I got. I bought this at Ulta, have been really useful. I'm able to utilize them often. I hate that word. This is my stupid word. I hate that word almost as much as be safe, stay well. No, you be safe and stay well. Okay. Now I'm going to get my tight line. And I'm going to get between my lashes. Let's do brows. Here's my Tom Ford brow pencil. Brush the brows into place. I was hoping my look would look a little different today, but it doesn't. It looks the same as it always looks, right? It just really doesn't look any different than anything else I do. I tried to pull out a different kit put some more of the icy right along the lash line. All right. Let's glue those brows up. I'm going to get a water. I'll be right back. First, let's do the... <coughs> I'm back. I got my water. Let's do the soap brow. I'm going to take the Sigma Clear Brow Gel. This is Tint and Tame Brow Gel, and it's in clear, and I'm rubbing it on my soap. 
and coat these lashes good. Okay, now that I have my brows glued into place, I'm going to, well, the sun is coming up, I believe. It's just hazy. Okay, what shall we put on the water line? I came across a pencil in my MAC collection yesterday that I haven't seen in a while. It's Hyacinth. Do they even make this one anymore? Well, if they do, you won't be able to buy it in a store because you have to get it online because they don't want you to leave the house. Okay, so the color is Hyacinth. This is like a color I used to wear all the time when I was in high school. I wore a blue on the waterline like that. Bet we all did. I want this connected up a little bit better here. Now let's do eyelashes. We'll comb them out and I'm going to curl them with my eyelash curler seeing as I just have one All right, I'm going to use the Pat McGrath in the top. So I've noticed that I'm almost down to the, I, th I think I've almost used up all of my Rodan and Fields. And I know you're, I've read, and y'all have mentioned that you're supposed to throw it away after what, three months? So if that's true, when I buy a new tube of it, cylinder, my lashes ought to go crazy, right? If it becomes ineffective after a certain amount of time. And then the product that I've heard so much about and have never purchased, believe it or not, the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I know. I can't believe I've never owned this. And since I like bottom lashes so much, and it does help you get every little lash. So we're here in my kitchen and we are testing an S new SD card and this is my makeup for today. I dropped my SD card in the in my latte this morning and Pat said that one's a goner and I mumbled under my breath what the f do you know and sure enough that killed it. So don't, don't dip your SD cards in your latte. If you're ever tempted to do that, don't do it. But anyway, this is my makeup for today. I have on two MAC foundations. I have on my Tom Ford brow pencil. I have on MAC eyeshadows and MAC lipsticks and MAC blush and probably a MAC highlight. All that'll be explained in the rest of the video. Ta -ta. So I finished putting the mascara on the bottom while the camera was cooling off. My first reaction to this mascara is that it is in fact all that. And you know how I don't like new mascaras. So there we go. I'm going to put it back in this little box so I can enjoy the newness of it for a little longer. The shoe shoe is still living in its box too. I'm big on that. I don't know why. Now let's do foundation. I'm not putting any primer or moisturizer on underneath this foundation because I want to try it. It's called Chantecai Future Skin Oil Free Gel Foundation. Fond de Tonte. And the color I have is hazel. And I'm going to use a flat, traditional foundation brush. I'm going to use this one. 
I was so tired of m none of my foundations matching. That was the impetus to the foundation shopping. And then why did I choose this one? Because I had a bride that I did. She got married at the Daniel Island Country Club. She married the son of the guy that the movie that DiCrapio played in. She married the son of the guy that that movie was made about. And she had her own foundation that she wanted me to use. And it was Chantecai. And it was so beautiful on her skin that I kept that in the back of my mind that one day I wanted to purchase some for myself. So there you have it. I lucked out with the color, didn't I? Considering you're not allowed to test anything. The nice girl at the Blue Mercury that helped me, her name is Diana. She helped me decide. And this is what we came up with, hazel. So if you live in the Charleston area, go shop at the Blue Mercury at Town Center and ask for Diana. She will, she's very good help. She'll help you get everything you need. Okay, I wanted to see how this wears on my skin without a primer or a moisturizer. So there you have it. And the color I have is is hazel. Now let's try the, I like to do concealer last. I don't know why, I just do. So let's do a bronzer. I did shop for bronzers yesterday, but I did not end up buying one. I'm going to use this brush today. It's NYX Professional Makeup. It doesn't, it's number 02. It's really soft. I really like it. And this is the Bare Minerals in the color Dark to Deep. It's the Invisible Bronze. It's really sheer, isn't it? It takes a lot of building. All right, I wanted to try a highlight that I've never, that I've probably only used once. Okay, I lost it. There it is. It's the Tartist Pro Glow. Comes in a tube like this. And does it have a color? Sparkler. I'm going to use it on this brush, which is my High Cheek Bone Highlighter Brush F03 from Sigma. Oh boy. That's some metallic sh sh stuff there. All right, it dries, it sets up quick. Oh dear. Okay. Word. <laughs> it says so quit. And it's potent. It's intense. Somebody questioned my usage of that word for a makeup product. Yeah, go in slow and it looks pretty good. Just got it too much on the side. Let's see if I can bring it down. Okay, so the amount of scrubby in a makeup remover cloth is enough to bring it down a little bit. Now for my blush today, I'm gonna use Ravish by Tom Ford. Looks like this. Across the nose. A little 
on the chin. I'm going to pull out another product that I ran across when I was checking my inventory for the Mac before I went to the Mac counter. I came across this. It's by Shu Umera. Is that how you pronounce it? Well, that's the way we pronounce it on my channel. If it's not, it should be. I really like that for that purpose right there. That's some good stuff. All right, let's do some under eye concealer. And we're good. I now can officially say I have more than one product from Hourglass. I have this beautiful brush that feels like a kitty paw. And it's called Seamless Finish Concealer Brush. It's lovely. Okay, and I got the color Silk for my under eye concealer because I like it bright. I'm going to do one eye at a time. Oh boy, it's concentrated. This is the first I've used it because, like I said, you can't play with any any of the testers at the at the stove. I know. So, what's the purpose of going to the stove if you can't play with it anyway before you buy it? That's pretty. It it fluked out on my count on my um, fluked. So I'm going to use it off here. It's a very soft brush. Love it. No regrets for purchasing it. Uh, Lord said this um, concealer is drying on her. And I read her comment after I had already purchased this. So we'll see what it does to my my under eyes my under eyes are still recover i know something else i used i used an active it was an active eye cream it supposedly you could use it on your lids all that stuff is too strong for me i, I can't use anything active actually so that's pretty i like that Let's see where's my this is my bronzer brush like it. I like the color too. And the color I got was silk. The other thing I got that I showed you, the translucent setting powder. Oh, that's pretty. It's got a little H in it. How do you get into it? Yeah, <laughs> I needed some more powder. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, I need a powder brush. I want a little soft one. Do I have a little soft one? This one's fairly soft. This one is the Precision Foundation from Luxie, and it's pretty soft. This powder's really, really soft. Silky. I don't know what the claims are. I'm gonna go ahead and take the sticky off. The sticker. I think it gives you a, a luminous sheen. The, my under eye on this side is still weird from whatever I got on it. I think it was an active eye cream and it was from Young Pharmaceuticals. So, buyer beware. It was actually a little swollen and puffy right there this morning. So what I get for getting as my boys would say, getting all French pastry with my, my skincare. Let's use one of the lipsticks that I got with my Back to Mac trade. This one is Mare. She called it Mare. How do, you, how do you pronounce that? Let's see how you're supposed to pronounce it. I always called it Myrrh. How 
to pronounce M-E-H-R.